It's a long time campaign for our rights and I'm very proud to introduce Bronwyn Penrith. Thank you. I just wanted to say a word on behalf of those of us that live in Waterloo. Now, as we know, people who moved in the flats up in Waterloo were promised to come back to the block for housing, and this hasn't happened. I want to pay my respects to a lady who is no, with us no longer, and that's uh, Annie Joyce. Annie Joyce Morgan, who fought long and hard for the block, whose, whose, place, whose home there was a, a haven for many, many people, particularly people coming in and out of jail. She had the, the only telephone, it seemed, where people who were in jail could uh, call up and speak to friends and family. She was promised to get moved back to the block. And of course that never happened, and she's passed on. I know that her children and grandchildren would like to move back. I live down uh, Waterloo myself. I live on the ground. I look across the, the street and see the high rise. I see the nappies, the children's clothes hanging up there on the 16th, 17th floor. I know that the little children that live up there don't get an opportunity to play on the street. For, for my own family, my two daughters live on the third floor of flats, one with six children. It's very difficult. <laughs> one has six children, one has three. Those children are often can't take their toys and their bikes up into their flats. They're often getting stolen and moved. They can't play out in the street. There's a continual police presence uh, down there. It's, we're living under siege. We're absolutely living under siege in Waterloo. If people thought that moving from uh, Redfern because there was drugs there, look what's happened in Waterloo, where it's much more hidden. Now, living off the ground in Ant Hills is no good for anybody, and it's certainly not right for my grandchildren. All the other kids that live up on the live up on the up to the how many, how many, I forget how many twenty something levels. Um, I understand that there's no safeguards on the doors onto the little balconies that are on those flats. So today I'd just like to remind us that those people are there and if they're voiceless and they can't be here, then I just wanted to say a word for them. We need that housing back, we need our families in houses. We don't need them living on top of shops. It's not, it's not an appropriate way for Aboriginal people to live and nobody wants to do it. Why? Why is the government, why is the housing company not accommodating these people? That's all I wanted to say here today, thanks. Yeah.